Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Puppeteer full tutorial series for absolute beginners. In the last episode, we learned about how to go back and forward, that is the navigation using Puppeteer. Today, we are going to learn how to fake the geo location. A lot of applications will use your location in order to provide you better search results. Some classic examples are Google Maps or say finding nearby ATM or the asking for nearby places around. What they do is capture your geolocation and then provide you the search results. But using Puppeteer, we can automate our tests by providing the fake geolocation and getting the result set to automate. Let's learn all about it in practical way. Let's get started. This is part 24 of the series. If you have missed out on the first 23 parts, make sure that you go through them in order to learn and master Puppeteer with me. I've covered everything that you need right from introduction to installation, to web scrapping, to taking screenshots, PDFs, code coverage, <coughs> simulating on mobile devices and much more. Today we are learning how to do fake geolocation. <coughs> So, in order to achieve fake geolocation, what are the important methods we will use? We will use browser context. That's number one. We will also need to use page.set geolocation. Those are the two important and new methods you will learn in this episode. Let's get started with the coding. All right. So, as always, I'll start from scratch so that you know how to do exactly step by step. I'm creating a new file by the name episode 24.js and quickly let's import the puppeteer first. Puppeteer is imported. I'm going to throw in a async third and I'm going to invoke it right away when I call the file. Again, there are different ways like if you would have seen me, um, either this is one way or you can write a async function and then call it. All right. So anyway is fine. Right now I'm just writing so that I can invoke it right away. Let's create a browser instance using puppeteer dot launch. And you know that we can pass headless option. I'm passing false by default. It is true. I'm creating an instance of page using browser. So I'm going to say await browser dot new page. Once the page is created, now what I'm going to define is the latitude value. <coughs> so here we are creating a variable by the name latitude and assigning a value, which is 37.7749, I believe, which is for San Francisco. So let's test it. Longitude. How do I know it? I have extracted these values from Google Maps. So, all right, so I'm going to use 122. 0.4194. These are the values for San Francisco that I've extracted from Google Maps. All right. So here I'm going to go and await page dot. Now I'm going to say browser context. Now I'm going to set the context and I'm going to say override. Override permissions. You see this option. Check it up. Now what we do here is we will override the browser's permission like this and provide the URL of the page. In our case, let's pass example.com. And then what are you trying to override? <coughs> and we are trying to override the geolocation. All right. So that's all you need. Check the code again. Here we are writing await page dot browser context. And we are saying override the permissions for this URL override the geolocation values. And now we need to set the new values so that you can fake it and automate your test. So we will write set geolocation. <coughs> and now we are going to pass the value for latitude, which is the new values that we have created, comma longitude. So now we are setting the geolocation, which is the new latitude value and longitude value. And then now you will tell the page go to since you have oh, here you are setting the browser context for this 
domain that is this URL so pass the same URL here that means you're telling the page to go to that URL once it's there then we can do something like say page dot screenshot capture it and you can say path and give a name say geolocation example dot png right and close it here so it will go to this application and capture it all right and then you can finally close the browser that's it so now when you go to this location your geolocation is set to this latitude and longitude and accordingly if you are doing some testing or some data results for a particular location you should see that values let me run it for you you'll type node followed by the file name which is in our case 24.js and it's a self invoking on load you can see here I'm calling it right away so it has set it has executed but you won't see the difference really because we are not um, <coughs> showing results based on the location right now but if you have an application where you are doing it this is how you would set this set geolocation by passing latitude and longitude by overriding the permissions of the browser context that's all you will need in order to set the fake geolocation and test your application I hope it's clear I hope uh, you will be able to now integrate this code into your application and test with different geolocations based on your applications requirement in the next episode I'm going to show you how to measure the performance using puppeteer it's extremely important especially when you're writing complex applications you will need to do that performance measurement using puppeteer that's what we are going to learn in the next episode thank you so much for joining in this episode please do show some love please do like share and subscribe my videos thank you so much for joining see you in the next episode